hey what's up guys so today we'll see what's a free shaft turbine so basically the free shaft turbine is used for the variable requirement of the load or variable requirement of the power it means your requirement of power is obviously varying so in generator how much you will gen uh, generate whatever you require you can't put uh, extra energy into the system or something like that no that's not the thing so uh, variable requirement your requirement is varying as per the load so maybe this is used uh, for the industrial purposes maybe you fear your one plant is running another plant is not working or not running so that's the variable requirement of the power so in that case we will use the free shaft turbine so as name suggests free shaft so in this uh, we take the power from the there are basically two turbines are there high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine we take the power and or we generate the power from the low pressure turbine no, the shaft of this turbine is not connected with the compressor so that's why it is a free shaft turbine so let's see one by one the component first uh, it's a gas turbine is obviously compressor then combustion chamber then a uh, turbine part so what happens the air comes here get compressed compressed combustion chamber we burn the fuel and straight onwards it goes to the turbine now we have the two turbines high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine so what happens in high pressure turbine uh, whatever air plus fuel mixture burning into the combustion chamber it comes into the high pressure turbine high pressure turbine rotates and it gives the power to the compressor now whatever the extra um, exhaust gases are come here obviously they have some energy uh, have some amount of energy heat temperature pressure and it goes into the low pressure turbine in low pressure turbine what happens uh, it rotates due to exhaust of high pressure turbine and it rotates and generates the power and the shaft of low pressure turbine is not connected with the compressor so it is the free shaft turbine and here yours goes exhaust to the atmosphere so it is basically used for the variable requirement of the loads now let us see the ts diagram c first this is one two three four and five point here is your compressor so what happens in a compressor is a isentropic exp uh, isentropic compression right then here constant pressure heat addition from 2 to 3 in the c c v gives heat to the system right now here comes the your high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine so work can be divided into two parts here we take the work from the high pressure turbine here we take work from the low pressure turbine but one thing kept in mind that here whatever the compressor work is required is provided with the high pressure turbine okay and here is your so what happens here a 1 to 2 1 to 2 is your compressor combustion chamber then high pressure turbine then low pressure turbine and here goes your exhaust now see your rp is your compression ratio what is a compression ratio means pressure at p1 by p2 basically compression ratio p2 is high so p2 by p1 okay p2 by p1 is your compression ratio now rp is equal to that is the compression ratio for the compressor c okay so rp of compressor is equal to rp of high pressure turbine plus low pressure turbine so that's the thing that we kept in mind because it works on the joule cycle so this thing we need to keep in mind so that's it that is the free shaft turbine i hope you like the video thanks for watching and have a great day thanks